Well, today we're going to visit Rob Di Piazza at Artistic Portraits. So we're just going to walk on down here and knock on the door. He has a gorgeous place here. A lovely portrait studio down uh, below his property there. Hey, Rob, how are you? How are you? Good to see you. Come on in. It's a beautiful day. Oh, it's gorgeous here. Here we are coming into the studio. And of course, we have appropriately sized wall portraits. Nice. Today we're here with Rob DiPiazza from Artistic Portraits in Kennewick, Washington. Um, Rob has a gorgeous portrait studio here. Um, and you know, in this day and age, Rob, it seems like everybody with a digital camera thinks they're a professional photographer. So what sets you apart as a professional? Well, I, I guess first of all, I'd like to say it's not the camera. Because <laughs> <laughs> I am now doing digital and I was probably one of the last to actually change from film to digital. Um, but it, it's mostly, um, you know, over 30 years experience, 14 right here in the Tri-Cities. Um, you know, we, we believe that what we create are, are not just pictures, or they're not just photographs, they're actually portraits, they're done in an artistic manner. We believe that our families need to be having a lot of fun um, in order for these portraits to turn out the way um, we pre-visualize we, we pre -visualize them with our clients. Mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm. um, you know, we, we just uh, create heirlooms is, is really what I look at. So. Right. And you didn't choose the name Artistic Portraits for, for no reason, obviously. You look around at the, at the work in here, and they are Artistic Portraits. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's amazing stuff here. Well, uh, I'm you, very Nick. impressed. <laughs> Appreciate that. Um, yeah, you know, uh, we take our portraits to another level also as far as the actual medium is concerned. Uh, we do everything on canvas. We go old world, and uh, we believe that our canvases actually are higher quality and, and right. done uh, in a much uh, more uh, artisan manner. So. Sure, sure. Well, inkjet prints. Yeah, right. And, and that's a huge factor of uh, the longevity of it, uh, the way they look. I mean, when it's when the emulsion stripped and pressed a real canvas, which I'm assuming is what you do. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, they they far surpass the quality of. Of inkjet on canvas, there's absolutely no doubt about that. Yeah, and we and we do, um, you know, the, the finished portrait isn't really finished until it's actually delivered to our clients. So even though you can do some manipulation on the computer, we actually do old world airbrushing as well because that creates a, another dimension to the image. So, right, right. Yeah. The actual artwork. Yeah, yeah. Artwork <laughs> that make it an artistic portrait. <laughs> now I know that one of the other things that you provide as a service, Rob, is uh, you go into clients' homes and uh, help them uh, uh, choose the placing and the appropriate sizing for their portrait? Absolutely, absolutely. You know, we're not in the business of selling the biggest portrait that we can possibly make, because if that were true, everything would be 72 inches or bigger. <laughs> um, but actually, you know, we, we want to find out, you know, it's based on, you know, where we're going to be doing the portrait, how much of the landscape we might include in that image, mm -hmm. and where it's going to actually hang in the home. We want it to look right. We don't want it to be too big for the space. Sure. Um, we certainly want it to be the best possible portrait so that, you know, when we actually hang that on their wall when it's all done, um, they're very pleased and not upset. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. <laughs> you know, uh, my clients, you know, they, they just, we, we run a very high referral rate. Um, mm -hmm. In fact, that's where most of our marketing comes from. So we feel that uh, we can make our, our clients extremely happy and uh, it's not about getting the biggest possible portrait sale, it's about getting the appropriate size portrait. Right, and there is an appropriate size for every wall. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, it's, our portraits are actually custom size, so they can be any variety of sizes. From right, and you know, a lot of people think that they need to get a standard size because mm -hmm. uh, of the framing, but custom framing is definitely the way to go if you're going to yep. get a custom portrait like this. I absolutely, mean, absolutely. Yeah. You, 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 you want it to be the focal point of whatever room you put it in. We'll create what the client uh, feels they need and we will work within their budget as well. We're not, we're not about you know being the most expensive or whatever, we're, we're about being the best. Mm -hmm. There you so. go. Yeah. Well, Rob, I know you also have a, a beautiful portrait park uh, down the hill a little bit uh, here. Yes. Perhaps you'd like to speak to that a bit. Um, yeah, you know, one of the reasons we moved our studio to our home was because we could have our own exclusive outdoor portrait park. Of course, my wife is the, the master gardener, and the, I, I kind of dig holes, and she <laughs> sticks the appropriate plants in the right place. But um, we do have a 3,000-gallon pond with a, a large waterfall, which we'll see. Um, lots of koi in the pond. Um, but it's a beautiful place. Um, 
to have, uh, we do a lot of our graduation portraits back there. Uh, the kids really like it, um, and like I said, it's exclusive, so you're the only one on the block that will have a graduation portrait taken in that backyard. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. anyway, that makes it pretty nice. Okay, well, let's go down and take a look here in a few minutes. Then. Yeah, I thought we'd go down there and uh, we'll crack open that bottle of wine and, and we'll sit down by the pond and taste. Okay, well, let's go. This All is right. just gorgeous, this pond and waterfall. It's just so beautiful down here. So this is IDrinkYourWine.com. So what are we drinking here today? Um, we're drinking a wine I picked up actually at the Benton Franklin Humane Society auction Saturday night. Wow. And it is a Columbia Crest uh, Reserved. It's a Cabernet Sauvignon and it's a uh, 2000. Hey, ooh, so, it yeah. aged a bit in the bottle, yeah, huh? Yeah, we're a little Kinda like that. Yep. <laughs> I'm going to try this out and see how we do. I can smell it from all the way over here. Holy moly. <laughs> nice. I uh, thought we'd have a little treat. There we go. Oh, yeah. Mm. I think we got lucky here. Mm. Oh, yeah. I like, I like stuff that's been in the bottle for a while. This is just right. This is just aged so nice. Nice and mellow. The tannins have all smoothed out. Oh, yeah. Hello. Good job, Rob. Bring me a steak. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> well, once again, uh, we're here with Rob DiPiazza at Artistic Portraits. Uh, this is just a, such a nice, relaxing uh, afternoon here with uh, the pond in the background and all. Like I said, I could sit here and sip wine and chat all day. Rob. Again, I'm Dan from IDrinkYourWine.com. And remember, if you're buying, I'm drinking. Life is good, Rob. Life is excellent. <laughs>